Hi. Well, uh, this is the improved uh, generator for 2022. Uh, we'd like to show you some possibility. This is, we would like to make the test together and to show what are the possibilities, the best possibility to charge the batteries back uh, while you generate electricity. Uh, the thing is that we show in the last video that we are running the bulb or you can run a fan, but you cannot get more than 300 watt or 200 watt more or less from this generator directly because you have to cover the battery. It's, it's a big story. And the problem is as well <laughs> to charge the battery, the objection of the battery, the battery eight that you charge it in the same time when you running the electric motor to spin the generator. You understand? So we will show you some way today how to avoid this problem. And as well, we are going to show as well how to charge the battery and what are the, what, what is the power of the alternator. You understand? So let's try first to see uh, how we can charge a battery from this alternator and what is the capacity of this alternator. You understand? For that, for that, we can use even a small battery. Okay, even a small battery like that to connect it to the step up converter just to have an idea okay and to see what really it can do because the motor will charge the batteries and the batteries then the input battery has to be covered first you understand so let's see the alternator at long before we connect it to the generator so we are just we can put the measurement, okay. Now, we can have, use a potentiometer of 12 volt, but the motor will not work on 12 volt. It's a, it's, it's, it's a motor that works at least on 24 volt. So this is the reason we put the step up, you understand? It will not spin in a small RPM. So it will spin in a small RPM with this, you understand? Because step up is taking from 12 volt to 30 volt. And the potentiometer will do that. Look here. Okay, look. Now, so you can see that the alternator is very strong and then, of course, we can put it on the battery, on the battery, okay, to see how we charge for now the battery and then how we charge the input battery. But I like to show you, I like to show you the most important thing is the connection between the batteries so you have to connect first a small battery in the output of the DC alternator like that you see I shall show you an example one and two okay now then like that then you are going to connect those wire to the input battery and don't forget it's the diode here, you understand? So so the battery will not refuse to be charged, you understand? And the wire go to this one. Now if we want to see how we charge first the battery from here, that we, we showed that next, uh, last time. But today we are going to see something different as well. Okay, uh, we have that. I will connect now the alternator with the, without the generator. Without the generator to see an example what is done to the battery. 
so let me see we are going to make some tests today uh, okay now here we have around Twelve fifty-five. Okay. By connecting that to that, let's do it like this, like that. We can do just to show the chart. Then we are going to charge this battery as well. Okay. And this is now for just to show that. You don't need a big power to charge a big. You don't need a big power to charge a a, a big battery from the small DC alternator. Look. So, for example, we are here now on. Uh, let's see. Twelve sixty four, and if we put it like that, look the number. It's so strong, you see. Okay, this is one step. Now, what I like to show you is if you want to be efficient with this video, uh, with this uh, generator as well, uh, it's better to charge a small battery to connect the inverter as well on a small battery, one of the inverter, because we need we have to put some few inverter here. Let me see. And here we are going to run it first with this. Let me take the light out, for example. Okay. You can connect one inverter to that, for example, yes. You see, you have the light here. Now, if you connect it, it's connected to the battery, but when you Put the machine on, you understand, and then you put it here, you can see still that we charge the battery, you see? You see? So the thing is that the charge is stronger than the output. You can put here few bulb, you can put a fan here, and in the same time that you charge this battery, the charge battery, you can charge as well this battery at the same time with the diode. You understand? So you have a situation that you are taking the load from the charge battery and you are passing charge to the input battery at the same time. You understand? Now, I want to show you something else as well. We are going to disconnect that and what you can do as well, you can charge uh, the big battery directly. But before we do that, I want to show you as well, let's see, okay, I want to show you as well how we do to run the alternator. Uh, and the generator together. Okay. By the generator now itself. You see? Look. We are going to put it here to the output of the generator. And you are going to see that when I spin the generator, you can you can run it on a different RPM. This generator is 220 volts. You can run it on 110 as well. I bought, I bought this from Banggood. They make a very good service. I got it quite rapidly. It's a potentiometer. So instead to put it directly, I like to show you this is the, the reason I put that. The, the generator spins first. When we have enough power, enough RPM, 
it will start to spin this alternator and it will charge of course the whatever you want yes just we can connect it and to see what it's doing because we already see the charge we are going to put one here okay look at the number you will see it's not working until the rpm is coming to the alternator okay now uh, let's try to connect it like that because you can charge the batteries the whole thing the whole the whole issue is to charge as much as you can four three four five batteries a big bank and to get around two kilowatt output from a generator of 900 how instead to put the load of the bulb charge the batteries put a, you can put as well a load i will show you in the same time but when you charge batteries <coughs> you i will show you after the diagram you can have from the inverter around one and a half two kilowatt output because from the batteries that you charge from the generator and the alternator in the same time while it's giving power AC and DC in the same time. Now let's make the first test here with this. Look. Wait, I will open it. Look, you see the alternator is not spinning, the motor is not spinning. Then look. Oh, it starts to spin, you see? Are we close? Small RPM, you see? And then it automatically it starts to spin and you can see the number here. Okay. So let's close it. So you have to get to a certain RPM and then give you the stuff. Now we are going to put the boards. We are going to put the boards in the same time. Because we, we I want to show you that we, we, it's possible to to charge and to have some load from the AC and uh, we will see how it works with both of them, okay? Thank you.